friends, hello everyone. We are in Dolgoprudny town. Today we are going to test a motorboat. We have transformed the motorboat, now it has electric traction. We used the motor DA112S of ASPP Way High Company with a motor with combined winding Slavyanka. It is 7 kilowatt. It is a way more serious equipment. You could see before how we tested a 3 kilowatt motor on a rubber boat. Some time ago people dealing with emergencies tested a 5 kilowatt one. Today we are going to test a 7 kilowatt one. It is a heavy 600 kilogram yacht or rather a motorboat. We will now do the testing. It's just been put on water. The controller is being set. The cooling system is being checked. Mechanical nodes of connection are being checked. We will sail around a little bit. We will talk about where it is used, how it is used, how profitable and economical it is. And we will just enjoy the beautiful views and the nature. By the way, it is the first motorboat, which has a motor with combined winding Slavyanka. We have not had them before. Before we used to test only small inflatable boats and aluminium ones. And now it is a fully fledged motorboat and 7 kW. Behave quite well in the riding mode. It's comfortable, there is no noise, no smell, no vibration. The motorboat is moving in quite a confident way. Very nice. You know, boats and boat motors are such a cool thing. It turned out that everyone needs them and some time ago you saw that the emergencies department of the Oblingstown got interested in it and many businessmen spoke to us as well. They need such motors for natural reserves, for forestries where there are certain ecological requirements and it is prohibited to use fuel-powered motors and such noiseless electric motors with combined winding Slavyanka are very practical on water in all areas. Take fishing for example, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't scare the fish. We will now pass the sailing school. As for trainers, you know, it is moving noiselessly and trainers don't have to shout when they give orders or instructions emergencies as well, it is so practical for them. When they patrol the water, it is noiseless, it is very calm, they can assess what is going on there. Fishing inspection as well. They can sail up to poachers in a noiseless manner. It is irreplaceable. Another advantage of this electric boat, motor boat, this electric motor, it is that you can use solar batteries on water. The raw fishing boats, Motor boats, for example, for southern countries, they all have visors. We have already seen Viktor Aristov transforming such a boat. It had solar batteries. It is irreplaceable in such countries. You don't use any fuel. You don't need to use the sockets. It is always moving. It is fully autonomous. Passenger transportation and fishing. It is very cool for such things. You save money on fuel, on electricity. Your hands are always free. Your boat is constantly moving. It gets charged from solar panels. A very cool thing. And of course, it has a very promising future. It's been two years since we started using motors based on Slavanka technology in different types of vehicles. Together with Andrei Lobov, there were tuk-tuks and go-karts and motorcycles and huskies, boat motors. This is what we test now and it's true that vehicles cover bigger distances. They run longer. They are much more effective, definitely. Our solar tuk-tuk only uses the solar panel without the battery. It is a real precedent. We have never had that before. So we have had a ride, a very interesting project. We will follow how it develops. When the construction finishes, we will come here again, we will have a ride, we will look at all technical specifications, the speed, how much it can cover with just one charge. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.